Well, we are dealing with a good amount of gray skies today on our Thursday, but we have seen some moments of sunshine, so that is some good news. We have had a little bit of a dry wedge. Temperatures at 19 degrees, winds out of the west at 7 miles per hour. Temperatures mostly hovered around 20 degrees. That is the magic number on this Thursday afternoon. Now entering our Thursday evening, 21 degrees in Crystal Falls and Florence, 19 in Antinagan, 22 in Houghton, and we start seeing that 22 once again in Escanaba, 20 in Munising, but still dealing with that little bit of that Arctic air at the Sioux at only 10 degrees. But everyone's temperatures will at least warm up a couple more degrees over the next 24 hours. Now those winds still light, so we will gladly take it in that department. That's going to keep those wind chills on the positive side. 7 miles per hour in Iron Mountain, 13 in Houghton, 9 in Escanaba. Now when it comes to those snow chances, though, they will begin to increase as we enter tonight and throughout the day on Friday and pretty much going to start backing off sometime on Saturday as we deal with both a clipper and a little bit of that lake effect mixed in for the second half of Friday and entering into Saturday. Now, a bit of that warmer weather begins to finally funnel in by the end of the weekend and on to Monday. That's also going to allow us to have a bit more sunshine throughout the area. So we're finally going to get a two day relief finally from the snow that we have seen building over the last week or so and also just the arctic temperatures we'll actually get ourselves into those 30s and believe it or not 30s are actually above average for this time of the year so you can even say it's gonna be balmy by the time we get towards our monday afternoon now it's gonna be somewhat short-lived because we introduce another cold front on tuesday and that's gonna bring another chance for some snow showers now for tonight and entering throughout the day on Friday. There are winter weather advisories all in the white. The only exception when it comes to along the shore is Marquette County accumulations between four to seven inches along those counties that are under the advisory and these go into effect tonight and will continue at least through tomorrow evening. So do watch out for that reduced visibility and just some of that heavier snow falling. So make sure to give yourself extra time and patience on those roads. Now for today, though, still dealing with that cold air throughout the Great Lakes and into the Midwest. I mean, a couple of snow showers well towards the west into parts of Nebraska and South Dakota. For tomorrow, another batch of snow entering parts of North Dakota and Minnesota, and that is actually associated with our next clipper. But here comes some of that milder air in parts of the Dakotas. That will eventually be here at our doorstep by the end of the weekend. So, yes, we just got to make it through Friday and Saturday, and then by Sunday, we will finally start reaping those benefits of some of that warmer and drier weather. So we just hang in there next 48 hours and then we will enter some smooth sailings, at least for the beginning of the work week. 12 degrees for tonight, winds out of the west at 10 to 15 miles per hour. We'll see a shift in that wind direction for tomorrow coming out of the northwest. So there is a probability we could see the chance for some negative wind chills in some areas for tomorrow. So make sure to dress up accordingly. 16 degrees in Houghton, 14 in Antinagan, 19 in Iron Mountain. And then for the weekend, 40% chance of snow on Saturday, down to 20% on Sunday. We're going to have beautiful weather on Monday. Look at that temperature, 33 degrees before cooling off once again back into those 20s by Wednesday.